Wireless security is an area that a lot of organizations ask me about. And one of the questions I always get is, Eric, how can we stop our users from setting up rogue wireless? And the response that I always have back is simple. Your organization is going to have wireless. Either you set it up correctly or your users are going to set it up incorrectly. Wireless is one of those technologies where the ease of use and benefits are too great that employees are going to use it one way or another. So the trick is you need to come up with a strategy and deploy wireless at your organization in a secure manner. Probably the number one issue with wireless is it's so easy to set up that many organizations don't do proper planning. If you just go in, throw up a couple of APs across your office, get connectivity, while the functionality is very, very high, the security is very, very low because you didn't plan out the design. One common thread is because your wireless signal doesn't obey the laws of walls and will go through walls and ceilings, it's very easy for people to do what we call war driving and pick up that signal. So one of the constant themes is to go in and encrypt your data. I like to go in and not only use the encryption built in, WPA2 is ideal, but if your hardware doesn't support it, at least you want to be at WPA. Then you do your typical requirements of MAC address filtering, turning off the antenna, filtering the signal range. All of that works well, but at the end of the day, even if you're encrypting all the traffic, even if you're running it over a VPN, somebody is still seeing the traffic, and I don't like that. So what I've done is I've came up with a unique solution that you can deploy, which limits them from even getting your signal in the first place. It turns out if you research wireless cards, if there are two access points that are configured identically, same channel, same signal, same frequency, same everything, if your card picks up the signal from both of them, it will only connect to the strongest signal. You won't even know there were two APs there. Your card will automatically filter out the weaker signal and only show you one AP and make it impossible. So what I've done with my clients is when we go in and do this, instead of putting your access points at the center of the building, what we've done is at each of the corners, I put two access points. One facing in with the unidirectional antenna and one facing out with the unidirectional antenna. Those two APs are configured identical. So now the one that's facing in is on your network, meant for all your users, allows them to connect and access the critical resources. The one on the outside is not connected to anything. It's isolated with no connectivity. Now look at what happens. If you're outside the building, which signal will always be stronger? the outer access point with the unidirectional antenna. That means you'll always connect to that outer AP that in essence is a honeypot and not connected to anything, and therefore you'll never even see the signal from your inside network, and therefore you make it impossible for somebody to connect eavesdrop or gate access. So now what we've done is while encryption is an okay solution, it treats the symptom by setting up these dual access points actually fixes the problem where somebody on the outside can't even see what you're doing, protects your wireless access points, and keeps your data secure. This is just one of the many unique solutions that we can provide at Secure Anchor. <laughs>